name is Paulo Cortijel Neves. I'm VP of Trading for Ryzen. We're the largest sugarcane producer in the world. Sugarcane is the most efficient way of converting solar energy into biomass and from biomass to transportation energy. We produce the sugar cane and we crush it into a juice that is converted in sugar and first generation ethanol. We convert these sugars and this biomass into second generation ethanol. The second generation ethanol is a way of producing 40 to 50% additional product from the same land, from the same origin a great product that reduces more than 80% of the emissions if compared with other fuels. This fuel is going to be stressed and tested at the highest possible levels of, of challenges in, in these tests in Formula One. My name is Valerie Loretti and I'm Delivery Manager uh, Motorsport at Shell. The partnership with Scuderia Ferrari is the most uh, respected one and known in the paddock. It dates back to the 50s, so it's over 70 years that we've been working together. In 2022, we are introducing for the first time an E10 fuel and 10% of it comes from sustainable fuels. Ethanol is a very well-known blending component and has very good combustion properties has a really high octane number, has a very good flame speed, which is really important, for example, in Formula One, because you have high revolution engines. Having the opportunity to work on race fuels is like using a very fast responding natural lab. That is really the driver for us to keep investing in motorsport and keep in these research programs, because we can really learn important features that we can then transport into road fuels. My name is Laurent Mekies, I'm Scuderia Ferrari Racing Director. The relationship between Shell and Scuderia Ferrari has been a very special one. It's one that led us to many world championships and to many great memories. But it's also one that is centered around innovations and we are always looking forward to what's coming next and it's in that spirit that we embark together in the 2022 season. You know, it's something that uh, Ferrari, its partners have pushed very hard for. You know, we want uh, Formula One to uh, remain. It's fundamental that we are able to, uh, thanks to the regulations, to bring true innovations to the racing world, which can eventually be uh, one day cascaded to people and to society. So there is already a roadmap for to bring 100% uh, sustainable fuel into Formula One that's planned for 2026. It's, it's a great milestone and, and uh, it's, it's hopefully one that will have um, very positive consequences, not only on the racing world, but also on society. Love from Law One in our country. It's going to have a special feeling to see really the technology coming from Brazil being used in such high level of, uh, of competition. It's not every day that you can be a part of an organization, a company that is building real solutions for the carbonization of the world that can really make a change. Seeing Formula One pushing the world and leading the discussion of the energy transition that is so important for everyone. Sustainability is just one aspect of racing fuel. We also need to keep it performing, very fast burning. And by looking at more sustainable fuels for racing, we have an opportunity, a unique opportunity, to find new features and elements that we can then transfer to our road products. It is like a, a kind of a living the dream in, in being in this job and being able to interact with, uh, with our partners so closely. It's, it's a season in which we are going with the ambitions to fight and hopefully to, uh, to fight for, uh, for wins. Shell and Ferrari are, are, are companies that always look forward and we simply look at what is coming tomorrow. We, we want to shape this tomorrow with innovations. That's what drives both our companies. The even newer regulations that will come in a few years put this partnership in a fantastic framework for the years to come.